One night, in a luxurious party room, a woman in an elegant dress catches everyone's eye as she enters, murmurs of admiration ripple through the crowd what a beauty someone exclaims she's Jiang Ye Oyao, the young lady of the Jiang family, another whispers, revealing her identity as the female lead her striking appearance and poised demeanor command the room's attention is she a celebrity someone else wonders aloud as Ye Oyao approaches a couple sitting intimately together the woman in the couple speaks up Jinren she says yeah Jinren responds I still want to eat ice cream it's really hot today I'll order it for you right away yep speculations about Ye Oyao's intentions swirl among the onlookers I guess she came to confront her cheating boyfriend Someone suggests Ye Oya grabs a glass of beer from a passing waiter and then, to everyone's shock, splashes it towards the couple as the beer hits the woman, and the couple looks subtly stunned as the woman screams, but Ye Oya, unflinching, even throws the glass at her face to stop her mispo. Do you still feel hot now? Ye Oya asks coolly Jian Ye Oya. Why did you go crazy here? Jinren demands, trying to regain control even if you and Yangtze have never gotten along since childhood, your current attitude went too far Ye Oyao, unfazed, retorts, she likes stealing other people's leftovers so much, I gave her a free beer so she wouldn't have to steal it. am I not good? Yangtze, the woman drenched in beer, shrieks, you trash who was kicked out by the Jiang family still not hurry up and let go? Don't speak so harshly. Jinren interjects Yangtze tries to defend her relationship Yangtze and I are in love with each other now that you've known everything, isn't it meaningless to still persist in fighting? Ye Oyao sneers Yangtze, frustrated, tries to slap Ye Oyao but Mrs. Ye Oyao retaliates, landing a slap on Yangtze who told you to touch me with your dirty hands she demands why did you slap him Yangtze asks incredulous how dare you slap me I'm the young lady of the Bo family Yangtze shouts her anger rising so what if you are the young lady so am I Ye Oyao declares although she had been kicked out of her family turning to Jinren Yangtze pleads look at her how could she bully me that way if you have any dissatisfaction come to me Yangtze is innocent Jinren says trying to shield Yangtze Ye Oyao laughs derisively it is said that husband and wife are birds in the same forest they know to fly separately when disaster strikes you two are here to play a fairy tale almost let yourself feel deeply moved Jiang Ye Oyao with so many people watching, we are all grown-ups can't you be more decent? Jinran asks decent, Ye Oyao repeats mockingly the pig's mouth on your mind is only focused on licking her have you forgotten about speaking ability? How long have you two been together? Do you not dare or won't open your mouth to mention breaking up with me? Climbing on her bed without mentioning breaking up are you too impatient, or is she just too hot? Yangtze, hurt and humiliated turns to Jin and look at what she said if you hadn't been in Sea City all along and refused to come back, would I have gotten along with another girl? Have you fulfilled your responsibilities as a boyfriend? Why don't you think about your own problems? I do have a problem, Ye Oyao says, her voice cold my problem is I'm so normal, I can't understand the thoughts of a foolish man like you Jin Ren stammers, raising his hand as if to hit her, but Ye Oyao doesn't flinch. Oh. She says calmly try to hit me, Jinran snarls, defeated that being the case, I wish you a coward with the accompanied the dog, can be together forever, Ye Oyao declares ending the confrontation all disperse she commands, and the crowd starts to break up a friend of Ye Oyao's rushes to her side Ye Oyao, aren't you too brave, did you just go alone and handle that man and woman, Ye Oyao shrugs why didn't you call me, if he used his hand on you, wouldn't you be the one who's at loss? It's their fault what would I be afraid of? Ye Oyao replies confidently that's right, but you're still a young girl, her friend persists have I ever lost a fight? Ye Oyao asks never, the friend admits Miss Jiang, the young lady of the Jiang family, has been hating the sky, earth, and air since she was young she has never lost a fight and is even better at fighting, another friend chimes in the main thing is just the impact is not good that's right. The first friend agrees that little stupid, Bo Yangtze, is not a small troublemaker today you splashed her all over and slapped her be careful that she will mess with you in the future if she does mess with me, 
Ye Oi Ao says with a smirk, I'll fuck her brother as long as I become her eldest brother's woman, with the support of the eldest brother, will she still dare to fuck around in front of me in the future? No matter how unsatisfied she is, wouldn't she have to kneel in front of me and call me sister-in-law obediently and offer me tea respectfully as the friends continued to talk, Ye Oi Ao excuses herself you guys talk. I need to use the restroom as ye oi ao drunk? One friend asks definitely, the other replies otherwise, could she say such outrageous things? I remember she ever liked Bo Youngsi's elder brother before, right? More than liking back then, ye oi ao was crazy about him every day she was willing to do everything for him. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the party, a man named Bo Jinlan, the eldest son of the Bo family, catches sight of the commotion he observes Ye Oi Ao's fiery spirit with interest that girl is really good looking and has a good figure are you not tempted by such top quality someone asks him Bo Jinlan, intrigued but stoic, decides to step outside for a smoko, why are you going, you can't leave before old Chen comes, someone calls after him smoking, he replies curtly, making his way outside as Ye Oi Ao exits the restroom, she grumbles to herself I drank a bit too much today Humphrey, it's all to blame for that couple and the chick it even had to be that Bo Youngsi she used to go against me, so disgusting and speechless never mind, don't mind that couple she stumbles slightly and catches a glimpse of a familiar figure why a bit resembles him, she wonders Bo Jinlan, she whispers in disbelief is it my eyes, at that moment, she trips, and a strong hand catches her careful a deep voice says this voice it's really him why is he here? She thinks, her heart racing he he, thanks, she murmurs, trying to regain her composure Bo Jin and holds her tightly, a small smirk playing on his lips I heard you want to make love with me, he says, his eyes locking onto hers. I, I, I did he hear what I said? Previously, Jinlin followed Yao Yao to the restroom and told her that he heard she wants to make love with him what's wrong? Since Jinlin is her white moonlight, she still can't stop her heart beating for him but even though he is not her white moonlight, which girl's heart wouldn't beat for such handsome guy when he is talking to her what's more, asking that kind of question I was only kidding Ye Oi Ao quickly slipped away due to embarrassment she has grown up sorry, I'm late Cheng Runzi, a forensic doctor. Jiang Ye Oi Ao's uncle this is my niece, Jiang Ye Oi Ao, I just happened to run into her and brought her over, what fake sisters my uncle is a forensic doctor, not a ghost, they actually got scared away and left me alone Ye Oi Ao, we both still have things to do, see ya come back for me speaking of which, you taught her before, do you remember, Jin Lin? Humph I do, we met just now good, then you can help and keep an eye of her in the future she always keeps people worried when did you come back? Last night why didn't you ask me to pick you up, second sister trusted you to go back alone? I'm not a child, why would she worry about it I just heard about you and Xi Jinren as I said back then, the two of you have incompatible personalities. Xi Jinren has been pampered and indecisive since childhood you have a wild temperament and cannot bear any constraints. He can't stand you besides his mother is domineering and arbitrary, even if you get married, you will definitely get divorced soon uncle, how could you suddenly bring up that miserable guy he enough exactly, it's bad enough for a young girl to lose her love but you, as an elder, are trying your best to sprinkle salt on her wounds, old Cheng, please be merciful with your words haven't you had a stuff stuck? Why don't you let old Cheng ask? I've asked about this matter. But my father has abdicated, so I'm afraid he won't be able to help Jiang Ye Oiao, he just took a glance at you, why are you so useless? Yao Yao, Ye Oiao, it's time to go home okay, I'll be the right away there's a sudden case that needs to be rushed to the scene immediately, Jinlin, please help me take Ye Oiao home okay why don't you let me send her? You? I can't rest assured how are you going to send her? You have to hold her when she's drunk have you ever hold a woman? You can carry her on your back if you can't, how about I demonstrate it to you? Hey? What's going on with him today? 
Ye Oi A was drunk and her uncle asked Jin Lan to take her home so he took her to his car and told his chauffeur to drive them to her house drive to Jiang family's mansion No I am not going to Jiang family your uncle asked me to take you home No I am not going to Jiang family I'm not going I'm not going you Then go to Cheng family No I am drunk Grandpa will scold me I can't go then tell me where you want to go I am a broken bar I'm going to the hotel are you sure he he I go to the hotel yes Jinlan my brother bullied me again it hurts so much you were bullied by him what does it have to do with me because I like you but I don't like you you don't like me you don't like me poo I don't like you anymore don't like I won't like you anymore yow yow is it a nightmare Bo Jinlan how can he be by my side sure enough I'm still dreaming where is this? Hotel why did you bring me to the hotel? What do you want to do to me? You're drunk ah? Bo Jin and I'm not drunk I'm dreaming, anyway yow yow, let go it is late, take a good rest, I'm leaving don't go yow yow be good even in a dream, you're not obedient too bad guy Bo Jin Lin Bo Jin and yow yow do you still like me? Do you still like me? As we know. Yao Yao used to love him back then, but he rejected her Yao Yao who thought it's a dream, just nodded at him without hesitation MHM Jinlan's eyes looked at her face gently and he asked her again to confirm the answer for real? We can tell from his eyes that he is actually into her of course it's real this man really doesn't make people feel at ease even in a dream after saying that Yao Yao kissed Jinlin it's a brave move of her and Jinlin looks so surprised then you don't regret it he finally couldn't hold back and kissed her back passionately and then he embraced her and kissed her more intimately it's so romantic Bo Jinlin what are you doing? You're hurting me Bo Jin and that night they finally are making out the next morning his it hurts so much, did I get beaten up by someone? Where is this again? When she is turning around, she is so shocked to see a familiar handsome guy sleeping next to her don't go yay oi ow so yao yao is flashing back last night incident omg, what have I done? He rejected my confession back then and I've made up my mind not to pester this cold-blooded man anymore it's been three years since we have seen each other why did we sleep together as soon as we met? No, I have to run away now. Don't fuss around all the time and be careful are you alright? I'm fine none of your business where did you hit? Let me see you beast. Don't touch me rogue perverted shamelies indecent I didn't expect you to be such a man you are taking advantage of me. You're shameless you asked me to take you to the hotel last night the hotel I meant is not here I booked Grand Court Hotel myself not this one sorry, since you said you wanted to make love with me, let me take you to the hotel and then kissed me, hugged me and refused to let me go are you blaming me? Wasn't I drunk? Drunk women are irrational why don't you push me away? I was also drunk and couldn't hold back sure enough facts prove that men don't have a good thing even if they appear to be gentlemen on the surface, wouldn't we still be able to defeat them with just a flick? It's me who is unlucky, my first time just lost for no reason if you are willing, we can get married what did you say? Thank you I said let's get married previously, they slept together and Jinlan wanted to make up for it and proposed to Yeoi Ao I don't wanna 027 unexpectedly, Yeoi Ao actually turned him down immediately we are all grown ups, it's only one night stand is it necessary to be so serious? No. You're an old man who is almost 30 years old you wouldn't have fun too serious, right? What era is it now? Is it because I gave you my first time, so that you must marry me? Come on, the great king emperor of dynasty king has been long dead, ha 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 yay oi ow persistently sticks to her decision in a word, I don't wanna well, I'll take a shower first before I take you home I should hurry up and get out from this place I have to break all ties with him and never see each other again for the rest of my life Bo Jin Lin, you beast Bo Jin Lin, you owe this well built and perfect muscular abs, as well as the sexy and toned firm abs no wonder it was so intense last night Jiang Ye Oyao, sober up don't be carried away by beauty you ripped my skirt, how can I wear it? Wear mine first. And you said you didn't do it on purpose? This is obviously your private exclusive room this proves it was long planned in advance you said you're going to a hotel, but I can't take you to those messy places, 
it's safer for you to stay here. Safer how could I have thought that he had a noble and benevolent character before? A promising man, gentleman and untouchable? He's clearly an old pervert with ulterior motives I'm going to take a shower too. I need a new dress and a set of skincare products this girl it's all for men? It seems that I'm the first woman to stay here what are you happy about you are such a loser president both here, the stuffs you want there's actually a bruise and pain bone plaster inside unexpectedly. President Bo's appearance is elegant and gentle, but secretly he is so brutal and fierce. What a beast you go downstairs and wait yes, President Bo Jinlan? You why didn't you go home? It's too late to go home last night to Otao, you go to the room to rest first, I will take a shower at Jinlan's room and I will go back to the bureau for a meeting later okay, Mr. Bo, goodbye goodbye, sister-in-law although they divorced, I can still call her sister-in-law right? I'm going to take a shower what's wrong? It's not very convenient now oh woman stuffs? Oh, so it's all just pretending to be cold to women in his daily life, I misjudged him alright, then I won't bother you by the way, where's Yeo? Where did you send her last night? Hotel you didn't send her back home? Why is she staying in a hotel? This girl I'm going to call and scold her for good. Yao Yao's uncle made a call to Yao Yao and in the same time Yao Yao's phone rang from inside Jinlan's hotel room don't you still have something to do? Goodbye when Bo Jinlan thought it's safe, unexpectedly, Yao Yao suddenly yelled from inside the room it scared me to death, my uncle just called me he immediately turned around to the voices direction and Bo Jinlan you actually tore my bra too and that second line actually explained clearly what exactly happened between them last Last night you are a bird of prey wild beast crap stand there is there anything more embarrassing than now it's embarrassing enough that one night stand to be caught by an elder what's more deadly is the one night stands partner is the elders friend how can you explain this I will marry Yeo Yao you want to take responsibility no in fact Yao Yao has always liked me then what's going on with Xi Jinran the reason she accepted Xi Zinran was also to deliberately provoke me Yeoi I went to see city three years ago, one of you was in the imperial capital and the other was in the sea city, how do you fall in love? Video call, phone call or we chat why did you hide it? This is Yao Yao's idea if you can't speak, don't speak. Are you mute? Why don't you speak? It was my idea because he has chased me since three years ago, I was only 17 years old back then, not yet an adult, how could I be in relationship? Besides, he is 9 years older than me, so in my eyes, he's a middle age how could a beautiful young girl like me like an old man like him as a result, he pestered me endlessly and pursued me relentlessly also gave me various branded bags to break my strong mind uncle, you know. Tough women are afraid of clingy men, so after the college entrance examination, we were together I didn't tell you because I thought he was too old and I was afraid that you would disagree bring it on, wanna hurt each other is that so? This guy is actually an bootlicker? Yeah no wonder, I asked him to be Yao Yao's tutor back then and he agreed so quickly. So the feeling of this stinky little boy to be a family tutor was all fake and his real purpose was to pursue my niece I have to go back to the bureau first let's talk about your affairs later goodbye uncle take care, sorry, we are not seeing you out ah, the crisis is over here as the things you want is it free size? The size turns out to be just right how experienced is he to know my size so accurately? Don't like it, isn't this skirt too ugly? These are bought by the assistant next time I will buy it for you myself he suddenly leaned so close to Yao Yao and made her blush and nervous you but Yao Yao doesn't let this thing shake her heart so she is trying to ruin the atmosphere it's all your fault why did you tear off my dress? Are you a psychopath? Your dress was too difficult to undress that dress was indeed hard to put on that's also not the reason for you to tear my dress off, okay? Just be frank that you was too impatient okay, I'll pay attention next time what is this again? Just now you hit your leg and those bruises on your body you sure have quite a lot of experience with your technique, you must often do it to other women before, no? This girl okay, I'm leaving let me give you a ride no need, 
I'll take a taxi myself out shits so sore and hurts I didn't expect that person's appearance to look like a good person, in fact, he's just good for nothing he's just a literary bad guy forget it, what's the point of mentioning things that have already passed forget about it, forget about it taxi sure enough, I still can't just let things slide I slept bojin and last night huh? question mark holy, you really got him? What did it feel like to sleep with a male god? With such a handsome face, Bo Jin An must have a great figure, right? He is a high quality and top notch man and he must be very impressive and that aspect you really earned it he he, Bo Jin Lan, he can't do it at all what does it mean? It means that he is just like a child, the one who has not developed well, got it? These two are my famous gossipers in high school. Just spread these words out, then. I have to pack up and run away I don't want to get involved in the trouble so she decided to run away again to the sea city to avoid Bo Jin Lan and suddenly there is someone knocking at the door and she thought it's the room service I didn't call the room service I'm checking out soon what else did you come for she is just about to scold the room service staff, but it turns out that the guest is no other than her rival, Miss Bo you are indeed here as the young lady of the Jiang family who returned to the imperial capital has a home but couldn't go back and can only stay at a hotel which is really laughable is there any problem? If no, then just get out of here don't delay this ferry to catch the flight last night you humiliated me, do you think I am going to let it go just like that? How could there be such a cheap thing in the world? Why didn't you say that when you got beaten up last night, it seems that you like Xi Jinren very much, you are pretending to be a weak little white lotus in front of him angry? It's useless if you get angry since he's my boyfriend now, as for you, don't blame a man for being in a different relationship, if you can't keep an eye on him if you were to make trouble again, you would only appear less charming than me you can't accept defeat if the charm of a woman is to be more coquettish than anyone else, I really can't compare to you you're so coquettish, you smell coquettish all over your body, I can smell it no matter how far you go what a waste if you don't go to the park to mate with those wild dogs you dare to curse me she slapped me yesterday and now she did it again and it's still at the same spot, I'll kill you you how does this crazy woman have so much strength, ah, you're dead today I'm going to call the police I'm going to send you to jail just call. Hurry up it's just right to expose the photos and videos of you as a side chick, seducing my boyfriend let's see how the elders of Bo family will lecture you mum, you have to stand up for me I was beaten and I am bleeding boohoo, you should hurry up and bring people over are you a primary school chick? Call your parents if you can't beat a person? You wait to have a prison meal if I don't send you in this time, I won't be surnamed Bo Financial. Arrange me a lawyer to come to the Grand Court Hotel what happened? Nothing, it's just that I was bitten by a dog, and I didn't expect the owner of the dog to be quite pushy, so I needed a lawyer to deal with it why don't you ask your boyfriend to handle it? He's at work and I don't want to disturb his work moreover, how embarrassing to be bitten by a dog, I don't want to lose face, so just arrange me a lawyer, okay? Okay I don't buy your story okay? Now I also filed a complaint let's wait and see whose backing is tougher. Then they both call their backings half an hour later, Yangxi's mother did come mom my goodness, Yangxi, how did you get hurt like this? It's Jiang Ye Wow, she hit me look at my face and my neck, it's bleeding and I even sprained my ankle my head hurts too, I was knocked out by her and I got a cerebral concussion, sob, sob. So how could this happen? Jinlan, how do you think about this matter? Xiao Li, call the hotel manager come in yes holy isn't this the young girl who slept with President Bo last night? What's going on? The future Mrs. Bo has had an argument with her cousin-in-law. I happened to meet Jinlan downstairs, so we came over together fortunately, elder brother is here, now I feel at ease President Bo, they are all here who will tell me what's going on? What's going on? Hurry up and explain to President Bo clearly just now I was cleaning next door and when I heard the sound coming in, I saw Miss Bo being pressed to the ground by this girl that's right, this girl is too ruthless it's like beating to death without mercy look, she broke all the things on the ground exactly this simply went too far this is bullying people, there is really no law brother, 
Did you hear that? I just passed by and wanted to say a few words to her, but she not only scolded me but even beat me look at all these wounds on my body, she scratched them all if someone hadn't heard the voice, come in and save me, today I would have been beaten to death by her brother. There are so many people passing by in the hotel, why didn't I hit someone else, but you? Is it because you're prettier than me? Do you think they'll believe such nonsense? She has the points mum, look at her, she beat me like this and is still pretending to be innocent I'm not pretending like you just now cursed me stinky and now turned into an innocent victim, what are you, a branded garbage bag? Why don't you put shit in it if you can pretend so well? Mom, she scolded me again Miss Jiang, we are all civilized people, can you take it easy? Fine may I ask manager Wang? Does this hotel have regulation during the stay of hotel guests? Without permission, unauthorized individuals are not supposed to enter the room, right? Of course, we are a very formal hotel Miss Bo broke in and cursed me without permission, can I reserve the legal responsibility of her for breaking into my private room without permission? This besides beating you, Miss Bo said that I scolded you first and then beat you again so please show me the real evidence personal evidence and material evidence are all acceptable with just one side of your words stirring up the situation here. Do you consider everyone to be fools? Do you really think I have no evidence? You obviously you hit me I admit that the ghostly look you have now is indeed my masterpiece, but you were the one who cursed me and attacked me first and I was just defending myself both of us were injured, but you couldn't beat me. So you called your parents and lied that it was me attack you first which fool do you think would believe your three year old child trick? This girl really has a gift of the gab, she doesn't need me to do anything at all. As for Miss Bo, why is she trying to make things difficult for me, if you are interested, I have a few photos here it's full of her and my boyfriend, oh, wrong. Now it should be my boyfriend's bed photos, the scale is very large and exciting Miss Bo thought she was just threatening her last time, it turns out Yayoi Ao is serious you she became so panicked and quickly snatched the phone away from Yayoi Ao's hand go to H and tossed the phone to the floor and it instantly exposed her true color in front of others everyone present there is speechless for a second after the havoc caused by Miss Bo smashing the phone, doesn't that mean you do feel guilty? I never thought you would be so stupid Li Jing, take care of the scene yes, President Bo everyone, please come out with me I suggest that third aunt choose his private settlement, otherwise the private life of the Bo family would be chaotic and the tropic of being indecent would spread I'm afraid it wouldn't sound so good, don't you think so? Jinlin, thanks to you today, otherwise I would really be we are all a family third aunt is welcome Miss Jiang, I've also just found out about Young Xi's love affair don't worry. I will handle this matter properly and give you a satisfied answer later no need, Miss Bo anyway, I have already been tired of playing Xi Xinrin, since Miss Bo likes him, I will let her play Xi Xinrin, that kind of trash can attract Miss Bo, it can be regarded as eliminating a public threat such a pair of couple that cursed by God is really a perfect match, Miss Bo must not separate a couple of lovebirds Jiang Ye Oyao, you thank you Miss Jiang for reminding me Jinlin, I'm going to take Young Xi to the hospital to check her injuries first and I'll leave the rest to you how is Mr Bo planning to bribe me? Want to bribe me? The mobile phone is broken but the card inside is not broken if you give enough money. I can consider deleting all the photos why does he keep staring at why do I feel like he's thinking of something bad? Last night you used this hand to hold me and not let me go shut up Bo Jinlin. You laugh again what did you call me, oh? Did I call it wrong? Then should I call you Mr Bo? Jin had squinted her eyes indicating that it's not the proper nickname either then. President Bo, happy now? She thought he is too arrogant that he wants to be called President Bo how did you call me back then? Of course it's not a suitable nickname for a lover, Jin Lan reminds her about the past again three years ago, what did Ye Oi Ao call Jin Lin? Back then at the time, he helped me make up the lessons I had missed, I fell in love at first sight. Brother Jinlin I didn't expect that he agreed to help me with my classes was just because of my uncle, he had no extra feelings for me at all I see, teachable, this time, it must be right, right? 
Are you blaming me for not backing you up just now? That night, you said you wanted to sleep me and to be the eldest brother's woman that way I would back you up shut up I was drunk that time hello yeah okay your uncle is looking for you uncle, where is the lawyer? It's been so long and the lawyer hasn't arrived yet isn't the performance too low? Jin and said that everything has been settled did you call him to come over? Otherwise? With Jin Lin there, who would dare to bully you? Isn't your boyfriend better than a lawyer? What boyfriend? Just now I was all by myself remember to go to the hospital for rabies vaccination. I'll go to the meeting first, and you and Jin Lin will go home for dinner tonight huh? I have something to do tonight Jin Lan has already agreed and further has already known about your relationship uncle, isn't your mouth too fast? Even Skyrocket is not as fast as you why did you promise uncle to go home for a dinner? It's a free dinner, why should I refuse? Would a dignified president Bo care to miss such a free dinner? I haven't seen the old man for a long time, so it's okay to drop by like you do don't talk nonsense when dining at night, if grandpa asks, just say that I haven't graduated from university, so we aren't thinking about marriage for now then? Then, wait after a while, I'll say that we choose to break up because of personality differences that way, grandpa and uncle won't be suspicious so you mean you don't want to marry me, you just want me to pretend to be your boyfriend of course we're just having love making after drinking, how could we really get married? Everything is for dealing with my elders which is to maintain my image, got it? Oh? Then what benefits do I gain? Do you still dare to ask for benefits? I was the one who suffered loss last night, that was my first time losing ones does not distinguish between men and women, besides who told you it wasn't my first time? Bo Jin and who is the leader of the four princes of the imperial capital, before last night, he was still the, let's go, go buy a first meeting gift and buy you a mobile phone by the way oh previously, they were invited by Ye Oiao's uncle to have a dinner at Cheng family's house is he really a V Ye Oiao keeps thinking how on earth a hot guy like Bo Jin and is still a V in his late twenties it's still unbelievable President Bo, Madam Bo Jin Lin's assistant has a high awareness and is quick to learn his boss situation what did you call me? Madam Bo just leave all the luggage to me, how can I let Madam do this kind of rough work can you please stop talking nonsense to your subordinates, I didn't say anything, my subordinates have always been good at observing words and expressions besides, wouldn't it be more convenient if you misunderstood it does make sense, at least when I go to see grandpa, I wouldn't get exposed but I'm not happy, I feel like he's in control of everything hmph, let's go Jin Lin's expression shows that he thinks Ye Oiao is so cute it's getting late, they finally arrived at Cheng house which is located in the beautiful park district. These are all for my grandfather. The cigarettes are for your uncle how much is the total? You can sum it first and send it to me later, then I will give you the money. After all, it's just acting, although you are not short of money, I can't just take advantage of it, right? Add a friend and I'll call you previously, I was angry and instantly blocked his WeChat. So I haven't had his WeChat since then ok your avatar is so ugly your profile pic is quite cute of course wait, is he looking at my moments? Let's go are my photos so ridiculous? They're obviously super beautiful let me take a look it's windy at night, be careful not to catch a cold, why is he so gentle, old man is watching, they arrived at the Cheng's house district, it was so windy and Jin Lin took her off his coat to cover Yao Yao his action gives Yao butterflies and she thinks that he is so gentle but when Jin Lin told her that her grandpa was watching, she thought he was just acting her grandpa has been waiting for them in front of the Cheng house, he seems to be a nice old man who adores her granddaughter he looks so happy to see Ye Oiao and Jin Lin at first, I didn't believe that this girl could win Jin Lin, but now I believe it come on, I was just delusional oh, gentle his uncle still don't correct yourself grandfather ah, how do I feel like it won't be peaceful tonight ha ha, good hurry up, come in with me I'll arrange the dinner and Jin Lin will try our Cheng family's cooking tonight I'm honored, grandfather you're quite quick in addressing, didn't you always call my father chief or old man before? 
but today you call him grandfather if you're jealous. I can also call you uncle why didn't I realize that this kid is so thick skinned before? He's just one year younger than me. Call me uncle how could he have the face to call it out? What a good day today, Runzai, open a bottle of good wine to celebrate national day is coming soon, so what does it matter if you skip a few days of classes before it besides, you young lovers finally met once, why don't you take this opportunity to get along well, Jinlin, don't you think so? You know you should cooperate, don't you? Say no that's right we should really get along well are you a stupid teammate? Don't you understand what it means to cooperate? I came back secretly this time, my aunt didn't even know about it and I didn't ask for a school leave let Jin and help you, just taking advantage of our holidays, I'll arrange a meeting between two families and arrange your marriage but I'm only 20 years old and I'm still a kid and haven't finished college, getting married is too soon for me, how could it be too soon, Jin Lin is not young anymore grandpa no matter what, I don't want to get married now. Don't push me anymore. Alright looks like there is some reason that her grandpa also knows she Jin and noticed that Ye Oi Ao's body is shaking since her grandfather agreed not to push her about wedding anymore. She sighed a breath of relief grandpa. Here, eat the ribs get some for Jin and too you eat more you eat more too you eat you eat you eat they're pretty cute. Though you eat you eat you eat you eat too much food Jin Lin's plate ginger, onion, garlic. Cinnamon star anise ye oi ao's plate ribs, chicken wings, braised fish, vegetables The relationship between them is really good that night Jin Lan interacted and had a talk with Yao Yao's family playing chess. Having tea and imperceptibly it's getting late cough, cough anyone please pay attention to the time I think this will be a very important part of our army's land combat deployment with the enemy. It's 9 o'clock, why aren't you going home? Hurry, go home Bo Jinlin, don't pretend to be dead look at your phone now lightning rumbling is it raining? The meteorological observatory has just issued a yellow warning tonight there will be heavy rain and northwesterly winds of magnitude 4 to 5 it's not safe to drive in such heavy rain then don't leave, Jinlin, just stay at here overnight that wouldn't be very nice it would be a big deal if you were to stay is there any problem? Jinlin is your boyfriend. Besides your upstairs room is all cleaned up but he doesn't have a change of clothes runs I can just borrow him, although you are shorter than Jinlin, your figure is not as good as his it's over, grandpa has made a decision of everything no need at critical times, Bo Jin Lane is indeed the most reliable, I have a spare set of clothes in the car, as well as toiletries that's good, Jin Lan come with me to the study Jinlin, Ye Oi Ao said that she doesn't want to get married for the time being, can you accept it? I respect Ye Oi Ao's opinion, besides she is indeed still young it's good if you can think so in fact, there is a reason why she doesn't want to get married, you'll know it when you see it. Actually, she doesn't want to get married, probably because it has something to do with her parents back then, her father secretly had a mistress outside, and her mother couldn't take the shock, so she got admitted to a nursing home in the end. She chose to commit suicide by jumping off a building, leaving a deep shadow on her you are her boyfriend, I think it is necessary to let you know about this matter when Yin Ru stayed at a nursing home, Ye Oi A once suffered from schizophrenia, the doctor said she could not be stimulated I see little aunt, my grandfather asked me to stay for a few more days, and I can only return to Sea City after the national day why didn't you tell me if you went back to the imperial capital, I have bought a lot of things that are just right for you to bring them back um, grandpa urged me to sleep goodbye, auntie it's getting late, Jinlin, you and Ye Oi Ao should head to bed early grandpa. You should also go to bed early how can grandpa do that, he even took him to my room specifically, afraid that I would run away. You sleep on the sofa it's too small for me to sleep then you sleep on the floor too hard, it's uncomfortable to sleep on are you going to let this fairy sleep on the floor, you can sleep in bed with me in your dream we sleep together, I promise. I won't touch you huh? No, I'll sleep sofa, you'll sleep bed I won't let him dominate me again I'm going to take a shower first as expected, she's still the same as 3 years ago, if you tease her, she will blush oh no I just lost my head and forgot to bring my pajamas and the clothes are also wet, 
so I couldn't wear them at all. Why are there so many problems in front of Bo Jinlan every time? Bo Jinlan, Bo Jinlan, can you help me get my pajamas? It's on the door outside the closet. Where's that man? Could it be that uncle invited him to chat? Great, just don't come back tonight. You still look sorry. I didn't know you aren't wearing. Don't say any more. Ten minutes later, just pretend you didn't see anything just now. Then go to sleep obediently. Let's not cross the line. You put it there so high I can't even reach it. Do you want to get the quilt? Yay oi our looks stunned and doesn't respond to his question at all. Why is he leaning so close to me? Yay oi ao gets nervous and is blushing to think that Jin Lin gets so close to her while Jin and himself can't hold back the temptation to look at her smooth white neck. It looks so tempting to him. He even swallowed down his saliva. Why are you in a daze? Do you want to grab the quilt? R O the top one quilt. Just grab a thin one. What is he doing by leaning over all of a sudden? He scared me. I can't put it on. Can you put on a quilt cover? Based on research, this should be no big deal. Are you sure? Oops. Slow down. Do you know how to do it or not? Can you be a little gentler? Forget it. Get out. Let me do it. Is yay oi ow that tough in her private life? Dun didn't it still have to count on me? Yep. Why is he so handsome? Hiss. Imagination is forbidden however, it's me who found the strategy fine, I give half of the credit to you nice to cooperate with you then it's getting late, you should go take a shower alright, am I crazy, isn't it just a quilt cover, how come there is an imagination of an old husband and wife, fell asleep? Stop screaming beast you're not allowed to touch me you didn't apply the ointment I bought in the morning or do you want me to apply ointment for you? So he's putting ointment on me? I, I can apply it myself then you go to bed and apply it after all, I'm a guest, I cannot let the host sleep on the sofa didn't you just say that the sofa is too small for you to sleep on? Before I change my mind what a smart kid. Jinlin is sleeping on the sofa and Yao Yao is sleeping on the bed Yao Yao barely can sleep, don't know it's because of the thunder or because of other reasons she keeps tossing and turning while sleeping Bo Jinlin, are you asleep? Finally she decided to check on Jinlin if he is asleep or not, she probably wants to ask him something Jinlin doesn't respond to her at first but he actually didn't fall asleep yet you are too noisy. I cannot sleep I am not used to sleeping in a bed other than my own is it my fault for insomnia? So can you read this to me? Forget it if you're not willing what a meaner you can fall asleep after I read this to you? Yes, I'm sure I'll fall asleep. When he gave me English tutoring before, I always lost my mind because of his voice I really kind of missed it you go to bed and lie down done what are you doing? He is not going to sleep next to me to read it, right? You don't want me to read anymore? Sorry. I misunderstood it when I was a child, my grandfather told me, he has a big tree good night, I slept so soundly last night and unread messages what time is it Xi Jinran? What did you say to young Xi? I didn't expect you to be so vicious if you are not happy yourself, do you have to make others feel the same way? You really have dark personality R, long time no contact but I forgot to block his number thanks for reminding I have something to talk to you I answered the phone just to let you know that I have nothing to talk to you please delete each other thank you I'm right in front of the door of Cheng House now if you're not afraid that the elders will know, just you try stand there and don't move. Ye Oi Ao's ex-boyfriend has been waiting for her at the residential gate of the beautiful park his face looks full of anger and is ready to scold Ye Oi Ao even though his face is categorized good looking, but he looks like not a nice guy, I thought he looked like someone before, were my eyes blind? Back then, if it weren't for seeing him wearing a white shirt and black pants once, with a back that resembled someone two or three points, I wouldn't have gotten carried away and agreed to give it a try as soon as he pursued me, but in the end, one misstep becomes eternal hatred besides, which part of him looks similar anyway? Jiang Ye Oi Ao things are already at this stage, why should I think about it again? What did you say to Yang Xi yesterday? Yang Xi suddenly said that she wanted to break up with me. Does it have anything to do with you? Back then, you didn't find me when you cheated with her, but now that she dumped you, you came to find me again? I'll say this for the last time, I, Jiang Ye Oi Ao, will never take back what I've discarded and won't be a mistress who destroys other people. 
people's relationships like Bo Young see even more the matters between you two are none of my business beside you, who else could it be? I don't get it even if I've started liking someone else, you already slapped and scolded me that day why are you still pestering me? You don't really think I like you, do you? Let me tell you the truth. I was forced to chase you back then what do you mean? Who forced you to chase me? It's not your concern anyway, I hate such an arrogant young lady like you the most young -xy is a hundred times gentler than you compared to you, she is the real lady. Sure enough, spending an extra second with this would be a waste of time you stand there for me get your hand off of me, do you hear me? If I don't give you a lesson, it seems you won't tell the truth are you alright? Why is he so handsome? Making me still obsessed with good looking men at this time brother Bo, what a coincidence, why are you here? I was just passing by and I happened to see Mr. Xi and his ex-girlfriend arguing on the roadside you're really good at talking. Huh? Don't know if my cousin Yunxi knows about this? It's not like that, I actually brother Bo, don't get me wrong no need to explain to me besides, I cannot afford to be called brother by younger master Xi, as we are not relatives Mr. Bo, I am sincere to Yunxi I want to spend a happy life with her for a lifetime that being the case the reason why Yunxi broke up with you, I suggest you go home and ask her then, I have nothing to say oh, oh, I get it good. Hurry up and go thank you Mr. Bo for reminding me, you are really a good person hey why did Bo Youngxi break up with Xi Jinran? How would I know? Didn't you tell him to go home and ask? After he finishes asking, won't he know the reason? Why are you here? Even it's for performance, you don't need to come to me, right? Did you know that you almost exposed our secret just now? What do you mean I mean you just need to perform it in front of grandpa and uncle, we are strangers in front of others, got it? Strangers? Don't tell me you've regretted it now? Hearing that, Bo Jinlan's eyes slightly darkened he didn't say anything and started to walk away Bo Jinlan, what's up? Why don't you talk? What the hell do you want? Ouch didn't you say that a friend came to give you something? You're right. Going back empty handed might expose our secret grandpa, my friend said he brought a local specialty over, I'm going to fetch it thanks to you you really deserve to be the CEO of Bo Group President Bo, you are so smart minutes late to this is a gift from Yao Yao's friend? The local speciality watermelon brought by friends relatives from their hometown is very sweet isn't this the Kalin watermelon sold in the residential quarters? By the way, I asked your uncle to book a flight ticket back to Sea City on the 7th ok then in those few days, I will stay at home accompanying grandpa pay attention to the image, or else, later Jinlan would dislike you again he dares he was the one who chased me first and I still think he's old. He's 9 years older than me and can even be my uncle. Ahem, ahem the body language says otherwise, she behaves right away when her boyfriend is here grandpa, I'm going to the company first go ahead, come visit often when you have time I'm going to work, be obedient at home, ok? Hey, you let go of me don't we need to perform in front of grandpa and uncle? Oh, how to perform chat contact oh quickly go can you stop overacting? You scared me that I almost exposed the secret so I'll do better next time grandpa, I'm going back to my room alright. The attitude of admitting mistakes is not bad but no next time, don't come to my house these few days if grandpa asks, just say you are busy, got it? After returning to Sea City, I will find an opportunity to tell my grandfather that we broke up, and also yesterday's gift money plus the watermelon just now, how much do I need to send you in total? This girl will not only wants to cut ties with me, but also wants to never cross the same path as me why hasn't he replied? Are you still there? Oh the gift money first oh first, what does he mean by that? Whoa, it scared me to death who is it? Is it Miss Jiang? I'm Yangtze's mother, I would like to invite you to dinner tonight, is it convenient for Miss Jiang? Sure what the are these mother daughter up to? So here she is, at the restaurant and is about to take a seat she dressed and her young lady appearance is still so obvious what would Miss Jiang like to drink? The red wine in this restaurant is good, and the freshly squeezed juice is also very fresh just give me plain water, it's cleaner you Miss Jiang, let me just be frank. 
Those things happened lately as Yangtze did wrong, and they have broken up. But you were classmates before, so you can't hurt each other's harmony because of a man, right? Yangtze, apologize to Miss Jiang. Sorry, I was wrong. Please forgive me if the photo is spread out. It will definitely bring shame to the Bo family, and Grandpa will be very angry since my father passed away. We, the orphaned daughter and the widowed mother, have not been welcomed in the Bo family, and we cannot let this matter affect our situation compared with the prosperity and wealth of the Bo family. Man is nothing Miss Bo doesn't need to apologize. I've also come around. After all, I was bitten by a dog. It should be enough to take my anger out by kicking it a few times. People can't keep arguing with animals, right? So when we meet next time, just pretend we don't know each other, because I'm really sick of you two scumbags. Seeing your faces is like seeing two pieces of S G Yang Ye Oyao. Don't go too far. Do you really want it the hard way, Youngsi? Have you forgotten what I said at home? Youngsi has just broken up with Mr. Xi and is still emotionally unstable. She came to apologize to you sincerely. Look, she even specially picked a gift for Miss Jiang, madam. It's too expensive. Don't be so polite. Just call me Auntie. No matter how sharp Tong Chi is, she is just a young girl in her early twenties. How can she resist the temptation of jewelry? In this case, can Miss Jiang please delete all those photos and videos? Is auntie referring to those spicy bed photos and videos posted by Miss Bo? It's so difficult to tie as long as you delete all the photos and videos, we can satisfy any request you make. Let auntie help you since auntie is so sincere okay. I promise you, I will not send out any photos or videos. Thanks my mother said delete it. Are you pretending to be stupid or are you deaf? Can't you understand people's words? Things are like this. In the first year of high school, I was elected as the leader of the school celebration dance team the day before the performance. My dance costume was cut into pieces by her with scissors, and finally she became the leader of dancer in the final exam of the first year of high school. She as the English class representative, deliberately took away my paper and tore it up, causing me to get a score of 0 UU in the evening self-study in the second year of high school. She asked hooligans to block me by the side of the road if my uncle didn't happen to come to pick me up. I'm afraid I would be on the social news Jiang Ye Oyao. Shut up you are talking nonsense you are making slanderous charges against me Yangtze. Calm down if you don't want people to know it. The best way is not to do it you don't really think that if you wear a famous brand and change your surname, you can really change your appearance and become a famous lady, right? Yee, in fact, I just wanted to keep something to pro so that you would not deliberately retaliate against me like you did before auntie should be able to understand, right? Since Miss Jiang has made the commitment, I hope we can reach a consensus on this fine there's no need to be so polite at all wouldn't it be better to just ask someone to hack her phone? 8.33 but mum, just listen to me in this matter ha ha ha, well said I can't keep up with the thoughts of young people anymore ha ha ha, is there a guest at home? Yao yao, you are back, come here quickly your boyfriend has been waiting for you for half a day you got to be kidding me, didn't I ask him not to come over these days? Not listening, right? Deliberately opposing me, right? You are so bad why did you come to my house without telling me?